construction. We are. There's so much confusion. There's a lot of new things. Mark's gonna clear it up, and we have. Uh, I just want to see with us too. We have uh, uh, Mark, Mark from here. California, the firewire guy. Employee. Biggest um, thing that I want to explain is we have three different techs we're running out with. We're going with the Ibala tech. We're running with the helium tech and we're getting away from the LFT tech. So this is here, but it's slowly phasing out because of the eyeball tech and the response we're getting in the water. So we're moving towards this. Um, this is giving you that parabolic rail. This is giving you the parabolic rail with the balsa wood. This is giving it to you with like a high density foam. And then here in eyeballic, we're adding the center stringer that LFT had. We're also adding the skin that LFT had and then we're creating an I-beam on it to give it a little more rigidity. And then we're giving it the foam rails to give it that parabolic torsional flex that the helium has. What does parabolic rails mean? We're, we're doing a, a stringer on your sides instead of down the middle. So along your rails? Along the rails. So the helium is a parabolic rail. So you're getting a torsional twist like a snowboard or something that twists and pops and then unloads kind of thing. Um, so I boxed in the, in the blend, it pretty much mated with this, and then we got this. And it still has skin on, high density skin on the top, so you're getting the durability, but then you're getting the light and quickness of an LFT. <clears throat> so that's... So with the I-beam on there, what does that do to the board? It, stre it strengthens it, slash does make it a little stiffer, for okay. sure. So it's definitely a little stiffer than this, but the longevity of the eyeballic is greater than this. Longer life, greater you're, pop. You're getting more oomph in your board for a longer time you own it. So the guys it. that are pushing it, they'll like it even more. Oh yeah, like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or bigger waves or whatever. Or if yeah. you feel like your boards are flexing out quicker with this, it feels like they just stay solid and- and livelier. More trust. More, yeah. 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 It's a good, it's a good upgrade for us. Yeah. Well, what's basalt? Basalt cloth made from volcanic rock. Like, yeah. So we call it volcanic okay. tech. So the helium is a polonia wood, balsa wood, parabolic rail that allows the torsional flex with deck skin and bottom skin on the top, on the bottom. So you're getting a sandwich compression of two skins with rails made of wood. So you're getting a really good, lively surfboard on this. And then this one's in our mashup and it's in, um, our seasides, and I think a couple other, but yeah, helium and then volcanic is the addition. Yeah. Why the wood um, um, stringers on the side? Or I the think fireball? so. The wood came from the FST originally, the o, the OG Firewire build, uh -huh. and that's been the superior build forever with Firewire as they continue to make new blanks and try things. It always this was always the one, and it still is kind of like the best true flex you can get for that torsional flex. This has a little more lively spring, just like a wood skateboard or anything like that. It just has that pop out of it. We're creating it out of foam on this one, or sorry, this one, but this one you're getting the natural feel out of the wood. Okay. Yeah. Um, but then the question people ask is like, what's volcanic? Volcanic is simply a lamination schedule, meaning a glass job that's different than the normal ones. So all we're doing is saying, here's your tech, helium tech, here's your other tech, eyeballic, and then here's your lamination, which is volcanic. So you're getting an, ec outside of all that build, you're getting a cloth laid over a board made of basalt instead of fiberglass. So we're changing it to that and calling it volcanic. Oh, okay. You're getting a little more rigid. Yeah, a little more, a little more weight but in a good way. And then you're getting a little more of a natural feel by it dropping in the water a little bit. But I think the way the reaction is with all the cloth, the way it's weaved in the, the material, it adds some gnarly pop on it. I've had some good results on my um, mashup going volcanic. So, yeah. Well, when you do damage it, how do you repair it? Oh, you don't have <laughs> to um, go chase down basalt cloth. Oh. Or you don't have to like, some people say it's comparable to uh, all carbon cloth. You don't have to go chase down carbon. Ju just patch it up with your normal ding repair. And if you want, you can texture it or add some like black or something to kind of blend it in. But 
So if you're, you know, you jump in the water, the, the, the waves are going off, you ding it at the beginning of the session. Yeah. And you keep on surfing it. Uh, two hours later, you get out of the water. What's the best way to, you know? The, the best way that I know of is leave it in a warm spot and get the maybe, and then put the where the ding is down to the ground. Not a hot spot, but a warm spot and let the water and like the heat kind of push it out so it can evaporate out. I think that's the best weird trick to do it. Yeah, that's right. Otherwise you have to wait like five to eight days if you really think you got water in there. Like if you split it open and you're running water, it's gonna be in there for a while. And you don't want it to defect the rest of the board by delamming something or somewhere. Yeah. Cause we have so many layers, you don't want water sitting in under these layers and creating these chambers of puddles. Yeah, yeah. So you should seal it up. What I like to do if I ding my board is I scrape wax off my board with my nail when I'm sitting out there and then I'll just for that day just like putty it on my oh, beam. Oh, that's such a good idea. I <laughs> just, didn't even think of that. Just to quickly like fix it for, yeah. for the moment. Instant ding repair. Yeah, a quick one. Quick so little if you're hit. Clumsy, you should just take a big clump <laughs> and keep it on your board. Just have a ball right <laughs> yeah. there where your chin goes when you paddle and then just use that. Yeah, yeah. Mine yeah. is, I, I mean, for me, if. If I'm in the water, I do the same thing. I'll, I'll put uh, wax. But if I'm in the car ready to paddle out, I'll just put a sticker. And I'll just like sticker and then maybe like put like a lighter to it to yeah. like heat shrink it kind of. Oh. And it seals it watertight on mine. And then when I'm ready, I'll just peel it off and fix it. Quick fix it. Oh, that's a good trick. So some people have lighters in their cars. Yeah. yeah. If you do. <laughs> I. <laughs> 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 but right on. thank you so that's all the construction we have yeah tech and then lamination volcanic right on I cool. need to clear that up yeah. there's a lot of confusion going on any oh, more questions sure. please message this, Mark you, at Firewire yeah. his phone number is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah just remember volcanics not the tech volcanics the lamination or the okay. glass job easier way to say it yeah okay and current and it's like uh, I think it's six ounce cloth or four ounce cloth. I gotta look, but same kind of like weights going on as yeah. glass, fiberglass. Well, we have guys that are pushing over 200 pounds and riding like some of the, you know, like the um, seaside and stuff. Yeah. There's hardly any pressure dings mm -hmm. after they surf it. Isn't year. it insane? I know. These guys are surfing like big bradas, like yeah, and big. Just, but you, you know, can see. Everybody's surfing almost every, you know, yeah. Like and it's crazy because you still feel the deck dampening when you yeah. push, but then when you're done and you scrape your ass, you're like, I thought I did something, but it's kind of just. Lifted back up. Yeah, a lot of guys yeah. come in. They're like, so, that's awesome. That's yeah. good to hear. Yeah, right on. <laughs> right well, on. Thanks, Thank you, Dave. Yeah. yeah.